Hi, Paul here, working on an experiment that uh, I'm building the outrigger to a proa and uh, making this proa out of uh, fairly cheap materials, uh, Luan uh, plywood and 2x4 material cut out on a table saw. Uh, the, the way that this works is I took a 1.5 by 1.5 inch piece of fur 2x4 uh, material and sliced that at a 45 degree angle and that gets you a triangle here that is the bottom cleat or keelson uh, for this this outrigger. Two pieces of 24 inch plywood by 8 feet long and uh, that gives us 20 inches across the top uh, using some more cleat material from uh, fur, just 2 by 4 fur, fur and uh, I've got a couple of stations, three stations that are going to get a, a uh, piece like that, a mold or uh, a brace, and that is going to um, stiffen up the, the proa quite a bit, although uh, I'm hoping that uh, most of the stress is going to be taken up in the, in the corners. Uh, I'm going to put some pretty heavy, uh, well relatively heavy, glass cloth, probably biaxial, on each of the corners and uh, glass up the corners, paint up the rest. I'm not expecting to keep this in the water all the time, but uh, we'll see. So uh, this is intended to be modular. There's going to be a 3 8 inch piece of plywood here with some uh, good cleats connecting it, and uh, if I make another one of these, I'll be able to bolt the two together, and that's the idea. I can make a, a longer proa fairly easily. It's easy to trailer, easy to move, easy to store, but I could uh, put more of these together and, and make a proa. That would be eventually, right now, I'm, uh, I want to make a uh, 12 to 16 foot section that uh, will go on to an existing Sharpie that I built that uh, I would like to convert it over to a uh, multi-hull or to a proa. So that's it for today. Thank you.